Welcome back. Well, time now is 9:47, and plans have changed in the U.S. strategy in Afghanistan. Last week, President Obama announced more U.S. troops will be staying in Afghanistan past 2016. The U.S. will keep roughly 5,500 troops stationed there. The original plan to keep 1,000 troops in the country to protect the U.S. embassy there. The turnaround comes after a months long review of America's battle against the Taliban. Combat photographer Robert Cunningham documents forces on the ground in Afghanistan in a beautiful book called Afghanistan on the Bounce. And Robert joins us now live. Well, I have to say, this is impressive. You were embedded, you risked your own life to document the work they do. Yes, my friends jokingly say I was foolish enough to bring a camera to a gunfight. Yeah, exactly. And you write something really. Uh, Pretty wonderful at the beginning. You say, I'm the luckiest man alive. I'm not a soldier, but I've had the privilege of living with our men and women at arms and witnessing their courage and dedication. You said you've been welcomed by these heroes as a brother. So you really felt that every day, but you had to kind of work your way in, didn't you? It, it, it didn't come off right out of the gate, did it? No, not at all. Absolutely. As, as soldiers go through their training and they have to work with each other, they have to get to know each other. It was the same with, with myself when I arrived. Uh, I was an unknown to them and they had to really get to know why I was there and what, I, what the intent was. Well, you were welcomed as family because you, you were like the guests that wouldn't leave. Basically, you were, on four, you were with 40 units on 132 missions. Yeah, it's actually gone now. Now that I just recently returned, it's uh, 146 total that we've been wow. able to accomplish. Wow! All right, let's take a look at some of the pictures uh, that you sent with us that are in this book, which is just a, a glorious, very, very big book. Tell me about this picture. This is uh, just prior to them uh, going into a, a area where they were uh, capturing some high-value targets, some some individuals that were planning uh, to hurt our soldiers. They had got intelligence that this was uh, where it was going to be. And so this was them getting ready for that mission. And you're right there. I mean, was there ever a time where they said to you, Robert, you need to stand back? Or were you always right up at the front with them? We were very, yeah, I was always right there with them. They, uh, they, their job in part was to make sure that I was safe and okay. And so I was right there with them. But it's all about communicating. It's talking to them, telling, asking them where should I be, how should I move, and learning, you know, just how to move with them. What were your ground rules? I mean, this is obviously a very profound, painful shot here. One of the hardest ones I ever shot. This whole thing, I, I photographed uh, three hero ramp services, and it's so far the hardest thing I've ever photographed in my life. Really? A and it was difficult. Did you know this individual? No, at this time, nobody here or only a handful of them knew who this person was. They, we weren't aware because the families hadn't been fully notified or otherwise. So we did not know who this individual was at the time that this was occurring. It's just a matter that it was one of our fallen brothers. Mm. You are a combat photographer. You are married. And so your wife uh, was keeping a close eye on you as you were gone for quite some time. Yes, and due to the modern technology now where we're, where we're able to have uh, social media and such, where I'm able to email or otherwise and speak with her at a distance. So uh, I could never have done it without her support, and uh, I can never thank her enough for that. Oh, some of the most beautiful pictures, really. I mean, I just got the chills looking at the relationship between the soldiers and their families when they're coming and when they're going. The, the pictures are extraordinary. And this father uh, was just so proud to have his son back. He had, the father had served, and so he knew the, the risks and knew the situations in this particular photo. Mm. So what's next for you? Uh, obviously, uh, we're taking a look here at the bushes. Um, you got to meet them in Afghanistan? No, that was, that was here uh, in, in the U.S. That was a, okay. a great opportunity. Where are you going next? Uh, I'll be here for a little while, go back to Phoenix, and then it'll, we'll leak over to London and... Uh, we're trying to do some paperwork. We'll see where, where we're allowed to go. Yeah, I, I would imagine you don't stay still too long, do you? No, uh, it's, it's a rarity that I'm even at home at these days, so it's always traveling on the road. Well, so lucky to have you here. The book is extraordinary. Where can people find this? You can find it at AfghanistanBook.com. You can also get it on Amazon, such like that. But if it goes to AfghanistanBook.com, you get a signed copy directly from us. And on the bounce, that is a term that is used quite often there, and it technically means? M doing a mission in between the other objectives. So it's other things you do between your normal mission objectives. And you're on the bounce as well. On the bounce. All right. Thank you for coming in. Beautiful book. My privilege. All right. And don't go away. Up next on 11.